Hello, let's solve this geometry challenge together. We are given this beautiful circle and let's read what the question says. We are told A, B, C and D are points on the circumference of the circle. Now go to the diagram. A, B, C, D are points on the circumference. Remember the circumference is simply the outer part of the circle. So you've seen that those points are on the outer part of the circle. And we are told that O is the center of the circle. So you see where O is. This shows that here becomes the center. And the line EF is a tangent. So go to the line. This is EF. That means this straight line is a tangent. And what does it mean? A tangent is simply a line that touches the circumference of a circle at a point and then moves away. Did you see? So this line is what we call a tangent line. And that is what you can see here. So what else do we need to know? And remember, this reminds you of theorem to make use of. Let's keep reading. So we are also told angle BAD. Go to the diagram BAD. Remember, the angle is on this letter A. So angle BAD, that means the total angle here is given as what? Is given as 2x. So that's what the question says. The whole angle here is given as 2x. And the question says, what is the value of x? And what's the value of this x? What do you do? Let me show you what to do. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you for choosing to let you us. If you are still new, hit that subscription button. You have a lot to gain from us. And let's do this together. Don't forget to like this video, share with others. So to do this, we now have, to answer this, we begin with our solution. Now, which, what do we do first? You remember the question told us that the whole of this angle here is 2x. And also remember, the question made mention that this is a tangent. And that reminds us that, like we said, each time you have a circle drawn and this forms a tangent here. If there is a chord, a chord is just that straight line that runs from one part of the circumference to another. So when you have a circle drawn, this becomes a chord. It does not pass through the center. We call this a chord. When it passes through the center like this, we call it a diameter. Now, what do you do? When this chord comes in contact with the tangent, the angle this chord makes with this tangent, this tangent, this is your tangent, and this one is your chord. So the angle they make, where they come in contact, if I complete this diagram, just watch, let me complete it. So if I complete this diagram, the angle here, just take it in opposites. Take it in opposite is also the same with what you have here. So if this angle here is A, automatically this becomes A. And what is your reason? We call it the tangent and the chord theorem, or which you can also call it the alternate segment theorem. You can also call it the alternate segment theorem. Now, how will this help us? Let's go back to the diagram. You see from the diagram, this is your tangent and this line is your chord. Just watch. You see that this line and the tangent comes in contact here and they make angle 66. So it means just go in opposite like what you said here. We take it in opposite. Did you see? Take it in opposite. So it means that this part of this, uh, of this shape is still going to become 66 degrees. And what is your reason? Your reason is your tangent and the chord theorem. So if here is 66, what do you do? Remember the question said, the total angle formed here is 2x. So let's name this. So it means that angle BAC, so we name it angle BAC, BAC. That means this angle that's A is equal to 66. Our reason is our tangent and the chord theorem. So having gotten that, we now remember what the question says. The whole of this angle is 2x. And if here is 2x and the sum part is now 66, can we get the remaining angle here? Yes. And what do you do? So we can say 
angle. We want to find this part of the angle. So we name it DAC. Did you see how I named it? So it means angle DAC is going to be the total angle, which is 2x, subtract this part that is 66. So this place will now be 2x minus 66. What do you do next to get your x? I'm going to show you. Remember also, this question mentioned that this is your center. And this reminds you that for each time you have a circle drawn, and you have this becomes a diameter. If this is, let's do this well. So let's say, let's look at it. You say, this is our circle. And for each time you have a circle and this becomes your diameter. If you draw a triangle on this to touch the circumference of the circle, the angle formed here is always 90 degrees. We say that angle on a semicircle is always right angle. So this angle formed on this semicircle gives right angle at this part of the circumference. So what do you do? If you go back, you will see that this is your diameter. Did you see? Now this has formed this triangle and this triangle is resting on the circumference, just like what we have shown. It means that there is an angle met here, which is angle 90. So what will you say? You will now say that angle A, D, C. So we have it that so we can now say that, let's take this off. So we can say that angle A, D, C is also equal to 90 degrees. And with this, we can now find the value of X. So we can now have it that, remember this has formed a triangle and the sum of angles of a triangle is 180. So we bring the angles together. This is what we have. Bring this, bring this as 90, then add this X and everything should be equal to 180 degrees. Your reason is sum of angles of a triangle. So with this, we can now have it as, let's collect like terms. 2x add x gives us 3x. This add this will give us 24 is equal to 180. To remove positive 24, subtract 24 from both sides. So we now have 3x is equal to, to subtract this, it gives us 180 subtract 24. So we simplify. Let's work it out here. So we have 3x is equal to subtract this, it gives us 156. To get x, divide both sides by 3. And when you do that, x will give us, if you divide this, it gives us 3 here is 1, 3 is 5, and 3 is 2. So we have 52. So it means that the value of x, we can take it up. We have it that the value of x in this question is 52 degrees for this angle here. And I hope you really learned something. Don't forget to like this video, share with your friends, and share so that algorithms send to more people. Thank you for always choosing to lend to us. I will hope to see you in my next class. Till then, bye.